Nature is rich in variety and is beautiful. Moreover, with their biodiversity, intact ecosystems are essential to life in many ways. They provide us with the air we breathe and with clean water, and they regulate our climate. But the ecosystems are under massive threat worldwide. Changes to habitats, over-exploitation and environmental pollution are reducing biodiversity and destroying the ecosystems which perform a wide range of roles. Every hour, two species of the animal and plant kingdom are irretrievably lost. Every year, 12 million hectares of forest vanish, while 80% of the Caribbean coral reefs are already destroyed and a quarter of all fish stocks are threatened by extinction through overfishing. Our natural sources of life, as well as prospects for development, are being lost. It's just as if we were destroying the Earth's biological hard disk before even knowing all the data stored on it. The loss of biological diversity has especially grave consequences for the developing countries. For most of the people living there immediately depend on the wealth of the flora and fauna to survive. This is why local and indigenous communities in rural areas benefit particularly from the sustainable use of biodiversity. Biodiversity plays a crucial role in food security. It also provides building material and energy, and last but not least, drugs. In developing countries, the population usually depend directly on medicinal plants for their health care. But modern pharmaceutics relies on natural substances too. Biodiversity is reflected in art, culture and religion. Humans and nature living in harmony expresses that we appreciate creation. Biodiversity keeps forests intact and maintains healthy agriculture. It also boosts trade and ecotourism, economic factors that contribute to local and national development. So far, much too little attention has been given to just how much ecology and economy belong together. As natural factories, ecosystems make millions. They secure our livelihoods, regulate the water cycle, absorb CO2 and protect the soil. The genetic information contained in plants and animals finds a wide range of uses, for example in the development of food, biotech, pharmaceutical and cosmetic products. Many plants, such as the mangroves, protect our coasts, while insects ensure rich harvests in agriculture by pollinating blossoms. For the EU alone, economists have put the economic value of pollination at more than 4 billion euros a year. The United Nations has proclaimed 2010 the International Year of Biodiversity. It is to become a milestone in the conservation of life's diversity on Earth. The aim is to make people aware of just how important biodiversity is for a sustainable and successful development of humankind. One day is particularly important in the year of biodiversity, the 22nd of May, the day for biological diversity. All over the world, people will be invited to discover and explore ecosystems in their immediate environment. The basic notion is that you can only appreciate what you really know. Together with scientists, species and ecological contexts are examined and explained so that everyone can understand them. Politicians, scientists, schools, NGOs and the media and further partners are called upon to organize and support local days of action. This creates a worldwide mosaic that shows one thing very clearly, just how diversified the services are that the ecosystems provide us with, and the enormous value they bear for each individual and for humankind as a whole. For several years, the Federal Ministry of Environment and the Federal Ministry for Development have been supporting these Days for Biological Diversity, together with the scientific journal GEO, in Germany, and in partner countries. The theme for 2010 on the 22nd of May will be Biodiversity for Development. 
for the diversity of nature is crucial to the survival of humankind. <laughs>